Welcome to the podcast, Daniel. Thank you. How are I'm going to get you too. I'm great, but you can introduce yourself so that the audience okay. knows who I'm talking to. Um, my name is Daniel Rhodes. <laughs> I'm 24 from Auckland and I'm a TikToker. Love it. <laughs> That's all you got to know. <laughs> I love it. Is that actually how you introduce yourself as a TikToker? I, can't, I hate introducing myself because it's like, it's what I do, yeah. but it's just kind of sad. Everyone's like saying like what their jobs are and they're like, oh, I work in this corporate role and I'm just saying I, I'm a TikToker. Yeah. It's just... But I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, but then there's always follow-up okay. questions, and like yeah. they're like, "What do you make?" And it's just like, "Go look." I can't yeah. explain it. <laughs> is that um, is that your preferred term in terms of TikToker? Like, I don't know what my preferred yeah. term would be. I have gotten into the habit of just saying I work in social media, okay, and then I don't get any of like the follow-up questions yeah. about TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not as exciting anymore. Social media, right? Like everyone, no. that man, and dog does fucking social exactly. Media now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm an ex-hotelier doing social media, like, honestly. Mm -hmm. Everyone bloody does it. <laughs> oh, um, God. <laughs> put them on, put them on blast right away. There's <laughs> such old videos. I look so different. It's so cruel. Yeah. <laughs> At least get me when I'm looking better. Jeez. <laughs> Love it. Um, so, okay. So, to, so not about, like, that's actually a real interesting conversation because we've um, been talking a lot of people about this. Like, mm. is it influencer? Is it creator? Is it TikToker? Like... Why did uh, what I find it really interesting is why did TikTokers get their get their own name? Uh, like you know, like Instagrammers. You weren't yeah. an Instagrammer, but then I guess if you're a YouTuber, yeah. you'd say YouTuber. That's Maybe it's more the video content kind Maybe of a thing. It's the video content. That's a fucking good. Because like Instagram's a bit lack of personality, <laughs> so like you're not gonna be like I'm an Instagrammer. Like I'm it's just a bit like okay, yeah. Good. yeah, like we all have Instagram, we all post. So yeah. Um, that's actually a really good point. I didn't actually think about that. That's why I think of it Because anyway. it's video, right? Yeah. It's entertainment. It's, it's, it's more... Actually, that makes sense because we always talk about how TikTok is less like Instagram and more like Netflix. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. It's entertainment, not social media as much. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's still community-based, but um, you're way more on TikTok for entertainment as opposed 100%, to connecting yeah. with friends. Like, yeah. you're not going on there to chat with your mates. No. Like, I, I found it real interesting on TikTok how people... Like, you, you'll get a whole bunch of views and then people won't DM you on TikTok. They'll go find you on Instagram and DM you there. Yeah, because, uh, well, you can't even DM someone uh, on yeah, TikTok well, unless you, like, follow each other. Yeah. So, let's say the comments will go, go to Instagram. Go to Instagram. Yeah. yeah, it's quite interesting. Anyway, um, that was a complete tangent for the start. Yep. Um, so, I guess where I wanted to start this conversation mm -hmm. is that I've read the stuff article that you talked mm -hmm. about going from full-time to part-time. It's a little bit old now, that interview. Yeah. Anyway, I think it was 2021. It was, la was, it? was it last um, year? 22. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Maybe early 22. It was before Joni was here. Yeah, okay. So it's before she started with us. She was still at Superdrive. Wait, it would have been last year because that's when I went to part-time work. Okay, cool. Yeah. So early last year, I guess. Yeah. Hey. yeah. And uh, so in that interview, yeah, you talked about going to part-time. Mm -hmm. Is that still where you're at or are you full-time now? I'm full-time Yeah. Me. <laughs> full time full time this. Full time TikToker. <laughs> yeah. Full time this crazy. Yeah. Thing. Um and how did that happen? Like how what was that journey like? I want to start first, like mm. just uh when did you realize that you could make money from it? And uh two, was your decision to go part time uh, because you'd fully replaced that other bit, or was it because you were just like, fuck it, I'm going all in on this? So, I think well, I was working as a social media exec, so I was doing a lot of like TikTok marketing mm. stuff as well. Um, and then I was just doing my own TikTok stuff in yep. that time. And then as my sort of following grew, more sort of opportunities came through with it. Yep. And then it grew quite a lot over the past sort of year. Yep. Um, and it just got to a point where I could be doing it. Like I could be spending more time on it and like putting yeah. more effort into it. Yep. And I didn't like my job. So yeah, <laughs> it yeah, was a good excuse to get out. And yep. then it became like quite good and it still is yeah. quite good. So I was yep. like, goodbye to my job. Yeah. And I always figure like if it quietens down i have work experience so i can oh, go shit, back yeah, yeah so i'm just gonna like drive it while it lasts yeah absolutely yeah and in terms of that like um without having to get you don't have to give us specifics but mm. like did it fully replace your salary and then some or is it just enough that you like i can go full time um i'm earning a lot more than i was cool. on my salary perfect my workplace wasn't known for good salaries no, <laughs> yeah, well, social media management they ask these guys they know about it <laughs> it's true it's true <laughs> um and Are you getting paid for this? <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Fuck. Um, and okay, cool. And then um, my follow-up question to that is like, what are those revenue streams so far that are coming in? Is it all brand deals? Like what? Are, how? Yeah, it's all brand it's deals. All brand deals. Yeah. So literally, just like making content here and for other people's social media. Oh, like like brands. Uh yeah. UGC the, my only income is from brand stuff. Yeah, that's the only stream of income I have right now, which I know is like. One source for life. I feel like you're about to judge it. <laughs> I just not. No, no, no. I'm. I, look, 
I'm not, there, there's a whole thing, right? There's that whole thing of like, oh, you need seven streams of income to become a millionaire mm. or some bullshit that you hear on like, you know, all the finance bros. Mm. Uh, but that's full of shit. All my income comes from this one business. Yeah. Right. So like most people would, most of those guys would be like, oh, you need to diversify and have all this sort of crap. Mm -hmm. But actually going all in on one thing is sometimes the smartest thing to do. Yeah. Be, right. Rather than trying to do too much. Because then, then doing you can't do shit. like everything is good. Whereas you do one thing better. Yeah, exactly. So if you're making a lot more money than you did on your salary mm -hmm. just from this, then right now, I mean, you're 24. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, that's not a bad gig mm -hmm. to be. Yeah, no, it's great. Absolutely. Don't have to report to anyone. <laughs> I love it. I know. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's great. Um, and then, so do you see, what do you see the future being then? Don't you dare ask me that. I have a panic attack. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like like, I, mean, JD. <laughs> I guess, especially because they're threatening to delete TikTok yeah. in the States right now. If TikTok got deleted, I'd be unemployed just like that. Yeah. Like, it would be so bad. Yeah. But I should be thinking about yep. what to do. It's really hard to move people off platform, I find, from TikTok. Like, yes, you have a following and, like, consistent engagement, but yeah. it's so hard to make people just move to a different yeah. platform and follow you somewhere else. Um, that would be my ideal, especially, like, YouTube or something, because yeah. that's more stable. Yeah. But <laughs> otherwise... I'm, Back in the workplace. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that TikTok thing, like, we're obviously quite conscious of it and watching yep. the developments. I personally think it's not going to happen. The reason I think it's I not going to happen is because they've talked about, like, you know, the con Congress are pressing them to sell. Yeah. Which means it's all about money and less about security. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to use the guys of, yeah, but if we have control, then we can keep the security. But that's full of shit. Yeah. Because TikTok gave them an option. It so many times. So exactly. I just, it's like the boy who cried wolf. Like, I'm, I don't believe it's going to happen anymore. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, I agree. And if it does happen, what is your plan? Like, you've got none. You're just going to be like, <laughs> can yeah. I get a job back? <laughs> can I remember how I exited and quit really angrily? Can I have that job back? Uh, oh, gosh. I don't even know. Nah. I don't even know. Nah. I... YouTube would be great, but yeah. I don't really have a following on YouTube. Yeah. I have a very, very, very small following. I actually had a look at that, but you haven't really tried. Yeah, have that's you? correct. Like, you've not really tried and you've got 1.87 or get something? off the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do shorts at the moment. And yeah. it's definitely like a different game to TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Are you trying to do stuff separately, like different on shorts to yeah, TikTok? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. A different style or just different videos? Different videos. Okay. I can talk about that more later, probably off the podcast. Okay, actually. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's took the clue straight away. <laughs> Not for here, Stan. Um, so, okay, talk to me about actually moving people off, actually. So, you said it's quite hard. Mm. What have you done to try do that? Because that is actually, we, we think that's a hard thing too, mm. to move people from one platform to the other. Um, what are some of the things you've tried to do that? Have you put an active campaign in to try? I've done, I could be doing more, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, but course. the bits I've tried, like when I, announced I was going to make a YouTube channel and posted one video <laughs> and it's been a year. Um, I made like a video on TikTok to sort of promote it, but I just tried to sort of follow like a trending sound, like uh, yeah. make it sort of something that would get picked up by people. And I got like 300,000 views, I think on yeah, TikTok yeah. and then maybe like a thousand subscribers yeah. on YouTube not passed bad, over. Though. That's not terrible for like one plug. Yeah. Um, not and then bad at all. TikTok stories I've tried, but t it's not. This, I nah. don't think it like picks up on the for you page as much as like a normal video does. Nah. So, yeah. Nah, I don't think TikTok stories are almost worth it. And then having like link in bio on TikTok and Instagram linked, I don't think does a hell of a lot. Nah, 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 nah. We we tend to think that like the best the best example we've seen of getting people from TikTok to a website mm. is when we had um, the story between me and Joni. And her, um, oh, the, the questions t-shirt mm. where we sold the questions t-shirt that we made and it was me telling her what a fucking stupid idea this is. No <laughs> one would ever do it on purpose, right? We obviously built a storyline around mm -hmm. it and we did that. Like we dropped that in about a third of the way through of the video mm. and then two thirds through. So we had two calls to action. We had 34,000 people click through just really? on that one video and that video had... 400,000 or something okay. views or something like that. So we had about 30,000 people click through the website. That's really good. And that was a t terrible t-shirt. Like no mm. one should have bought it. It was a joke. We <laughs> knew it was a joke. Um, we sold 55 of them. So that's not bad. We made mm -hmm. five grand in sales. Not that there's much profit on that because it was all print on demand. But um, that storyline of getting people to do stuff in spite of me, mm. perfect. Works every fucking that's time. so true, yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves to fuck Stan. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> They're all like, fuck this guy. We're going to fuck him up. They all call me a boomer. Oh, fuck. I'm not that much older. Shut up, Ashley. Do you class as boomer? No. No. Shut up, Daniel. <laughs> fuck. 
I'm not even Gen X. I'm younger than this guy. How old do you think I am? That's you can't. Thirty-two. This guy's a good guy. This guy's a good guy. He's better How than actually. Thirty-six. Cool. Yeah. You always shoot lower for someone <laughs> you just meet. <laughs> It's risky, otherwise I'd be trapped in here for another hour after calling you something. I've never, ever, uh, even when I was 22, no one's called me 32. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was quite funny yesterday because we were doing this, oh, two days ago with Kimberly out mm. there who's from one New Zealand. And she was saying, it's hard stand with you because because I own the business and I, like, the world, like, because people put people into context, you know, so they, like, they see the world that I'm in, the, the the business that I own and everything and then I don't look young mm. so then they just shoot high they're mm. just like oh he must be in his late 40s <laughs> like uh, fuck no you always go for the kind <laughs> yeah. and you go down down yeah I love it um, we totally got off track there yeah. but okay so you, so okay so you struggle to move people off but mm. actually not really right like actually fuck like when I hear that one in 300 people mm. went from the video viewed it to go subscribe that's good from that one video for sure yeah and the best, that, like, that was like the one plug I did like yeah. a year ago. But then why am I going to plug something when I'm not posting? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is stopping you from posting? Just time and effort? Kind of, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it sounds so bad because it's yeah. really not that hard <laughs> yeah. at the yeah. end of the day. But like, if, if, if you're comparing YouTube to TikTok, it's a lot more work. Yeah. 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 What it's do you... That, like, well, what it's do just you more think? time consuming. Yeah, absolutely. It's way more time consuming. Because, yeah. I mean, the YouTube videos... The, the cadence is different as well. Mm. Like, it's not every three seconds and stuff that you get. You know, it's not it's not that whole thing that people talk about on TikTok. It's like, when you're making a 12-minute video, the cadence of that is just so completely different to a yep. TikTok video. They're a whole new skill set um, to be able to do it. But uh, with your YouTube, do you want that to just be continuing what you're doing? Like, do you have any thoughts of what you'd love your YouTube to be? Like, you, you've done a vlog, and it's kind of your style anyway in terms of you talking mm. to camera and things. Is that kind of what you're... You'd yeah, the YouTube I like movie? just like talking to, I, yeah. I have a lot of thoughts and I also have like so many unfortunate bad things that happen to me. So it's good to just like let them out. Yeah. So I like just to sort of create that sort of like I'm hanging out with whoever's watching vibe because yeah. Yeah. that's what I like to do. Yeah. And uh, do you have any ideas of what that YouTube could evolve into? Like in, in terms of like, because you've got this where you're talking to people and mm-hmm. telling everything. How do you differentiate that on YouTube? Like how do you make people want to go watch a different version? I don't know. <laughs> I literally don't know. Nah. <laughs> I remember when I posted one video, I remember people saying, because it was like a 17 minute long yeah, video yeah, or something, yeah. and people were like happy to be, they were like, yeah. oh my God, 17 minutes of Daniel. I was like, mm. shit, like I wouldn't have expected anyone to like want that, you know? Nah, nah, yeah. Um, so it's different because like TikTok's so like snappy and speedy and you're yeah. just trying to get like the point across and like yeah. the story out. Whereas yeah. TikTok's like, oh, sorry, YouTube is a lot slower. And yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know. You still have to be like engaging and stuff though. Yeah. And you have to have like a good hook and like the title um the caption of the video yeah. thumbnails all the yeah, other stuff yeah. that comes in with it right who do you watch in terms of vlogs that you like you know what i've actually stopped watching a lot oh of really <laughs> yeah. I like I've, the classic like i'm used to short form video yeah, now okay but um emma chamberlain was a oh, yeah. big, big one i watched yep. cool um yeah i like classic. that sort of style video yeah i think that's the kind of yeah. stuff i like doing yeah 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 cool um i we think that like youtube is definitely like it's definitely all roads lead to YouTube, right? Yeah. In terms of content creators, yeah. it's where all the money is. It's where all the mm-hmm. um, the most sustainable stuff is as well. Mm-hmm. Um, do you ever see, like, in terms of generating revenue and things like that, is um, would are you sort of the creator? Actually, Lewis Davis, he Davies, mm-hmm. he told me a good analogy. Actually, he said, "Stand like there's the um, teach a man a fish or give a man a fish." Right? That's the old saying, right? Mm-hmm. So you can have give a man a fish or teach him, and in terms of creators, the teaching man of fish is like Joni. Joni wants to learn how mm-hmm. to be the business owner behind the creators. Mm-hmm. That's what she really wants to do long term. And then there's like the give a man of fish, which are the guys who sort of just like hang around. They get thrown brand deals mm-hmm. every once in a while. But then there's That's like, like <laughs> well, I was wondering that. Is, is it you? Or what Lewis said, he's like, then there's the guys who just want to go to the supermarket and buy a fish. Mm-hmm. And those are the guys who are like, I've got a big following. I'm going to tell you when I want to work with you. Mm-hmm. And that's what Lewis is sort of saying that he kind of fits into Mm. like he's like i don't just let things fall on my lap yeah i'm actively going no i just want to be given fish but i want to be able to choose the ones i want from the store yeah is that kind of more fitting into where you're heading or you just sit back and take it as it comes i could (laughs) sit back and take it as it comes but i'm also not just i don't just say yes to everything either i'm not gonna like i turn down things that i'm just like no this isn't i'm not gonna just do it for the money no. Like needs to make sense yeah. to an extent. Yeah. And I have like early on, especially would have said yes to a couple things that yeah. I definitely regret. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like, I wouldn't do that anymore. Nah. And I've got like a, 
bit of headspace for it. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. But you're not sort of actively going, I want this partnership. I want this sort of um, I, I mean, like I've set goals and stuff for the yeah, year okay. with like cool. my agent and yeah, yeah, yeah. they know what the kind of stuff I want to do is. Yeah. Um, and so you sort of just leave it for them to sort of figure out. Kind of. But yeah. then I also have like personal goals that I'm planning on doing without them. So I guess, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, how much of them can you share? My personal goals? Yeah. Or any of your goals? Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's off camera. <laughs> I love I it. I'll expose myself. Nah, cool. You don't have to share it because goals are pretty personal. Yeah, I, ca- I can't off camera. I just yeah, yeah, can't yeah. be recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, okay, so YouTube's a one goal. That's yeah, definitely a goal. Yeah, yep. so you really want that. And you want to be able to get bigger and better brand deals probably yeah. is what we're talking about. Yeah. Bigger partnerships. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, if you think about partnerships, and maybe these are some of your goals, and so we'll see how we go here, but like, what would be some of the dream dream partnerships? Like, And it doesn't have to be a specific brand, but like, how would you like, what would you think is a dream partnership? Like for, as an example, just so I'm making myself clear, is like, oh, I'd love to partner with a high-end fashion brand that sponsors me and puts me in all their clothes. Like something like that. Like that's actually, that's what I was okay, cool. say. <laughs> I, that's what I want. Nice little yeah. fashion weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's sort of the goal? I think so. so. I have have a couple friends who live in the UK who are doing very well and doing that kind of stuff. And it looks, yeah, it's quite a cool gig. Yeah. Have you thought about like moving? Yeah, I think I'm moving in July. Oh, great. Most of my following is actually in the UK. Yeah. Like 50%. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it was not UK or US. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think I'll be over there. And I have um, a few friends who are doing well over there on TikTok who said they'll help me. So like... (laughs) By yeah. my feet a bit, which yeah. is good. Like a working holiday visa to start with? Um, I or... can get a passport. Oh, okay. it's my dad. But Fuck. Yeah. Great. So off I go, get me yeah, out of here. That's awesome. I'm so over this place. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing, hey, like in New Zealand, what we found find is that it doesn't matter how big you get here, the opportunities are always going to be limited. Yeah. Because of just where you're located. Yeah. It's just so, like the influence and stuff is so <laughs> much more underdeveloped here than like anywhere. Even if you get to Australia, it's a lot better. Yeah. But no, nothing like... London no. or like the States. No. no, or just anywhere other than New Zealand. Like, yeah. So we're talking to, uh, we have a creator who came on board with us this week and they have about 30,000 something followers. Mm-hmm. Like that's it, like not many, 30,000 on Instagram and TikTok actually. Yep. So it's, it's still pretty good. Um, and the amount of deals that come through their inbox every day mm. is just outrageous. Yep. Like, you know, like way more than what you'd see like even in Joni's inbox mm-hmm. relatively like it's just all day long yeah. they're getting things from different people in Europe they, they live in Spain yeah okay yeah yeah so it's just crazy Americans living in Spain too so it's quite an mm-hmm. uh, interesting niche um, but that's great that you go in the UK because I think in terms of your world like influencer creator world mm-hmm. um, it's sort of untapped right like yeah there's just still so much yeah um, especially in the UK, we know like there's a lady who does exactly what I do as a as a mm-hmm. business, my personal branding in the UK. Um, we started our businesses the same time, mm-hmm. and our content's like she's got like really great content. We but we probably put out the same amount on LinkedIn. This is this is our LinkedIn stuff. She um her audience grew ten times faster on really? LinkedIn. She's great. Don't get me wrong. It's nothing yeah. about like, she may even just make better content than I do. Yeah. And that's <laughs> fair. fair. Um, but like 10 times faster it grew. And just like that, because you know, like you know what it's like, like on social media's location, it always feeds to your location first mm-hmm. before it goes everywhere else. Yeah. Yours is a little bit different once you get a following, same as our Taz one. But still, it's, it's so st- much harder to do it from here, I think. Fuck, I've thought yeah. about that. And I've talked to people who are, who do it yep. in other countries and are doing very well. Yeah. And they said when they came here, it just went slower. Like they noticed their yep. views just went slower. Yeah. And I was like, we're underdeveloped here. Like, get me out. It's just so annoying. Yeah. Because like... If you're just in a different location, like with more people, yeah, the for you page is just there's more opportunity on it. So, hundred percent. No, I totally agree. I think that if you're going to make a business out of this as a creator, like especially brand deals, mm-hmm. Europe's like Europe or US are the places to be. Yeah, like there's just no point staying here. Even mm-hmm. Australia isn't yeah. very good anywhere but yeah, New Zealand. Yeah. Um. Okay. So getting people, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna press on this YouTube thing, and I'm gonna like really grill you now. Um. How do we make it happen? How do we get, what do you need to make sure you can make YouTube clips? Like what's stopping you? Because it's not time because it's you're full point. time now, right? <laughs> it's full time now. How often do you post on here? I haven't posted in two weeks. Oh, there we go. So what have you been doing? You know what? I feel since I've been doing TikTok full time, I take more social media breaks because it's like 
and toxic. So yeah, of course, um, it's better. Like I would say, like yeah, you, doing social media is my full time job. I take more like little breaks just yeah. because. Also, it's like draining thinking of ideas all the time and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what's stopping me from YouTube? I don't know. Yeah, I have. I filmed a video last week. Okay. Just need to edit it. <laughs> yeah. Is that the roadblock? The editing. I like editing when okay. I do it. Yeah. You actually know, you know what? I've got so many storage spaces on my laptop that yeah. every time I go to do it, I'm just like, oh my God, this is awful. <laughs> Maybe I just need like more iCloud storage. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be a first excuse. For okay, look, I'm just lazy. Stuff. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> is that a possible brand sponsorship? Apple? iCloud? Uh, yeah, Apple give, iCloud. Give more storage. Give, give more storage. storage. You'll make more content. I'll make content about Apple if you give me storage about it. The thing is, and the th- I want to do it. Yeah. What is it, what is, what do you think it is? Like is it just is it just time? Is it just lack of ideas? Is it just like it is. I'm kind of un- Are you on your own doing this stuff? Like have you got people around you? Like 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 other creators around you or constantly I'm pretty or? solo to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. I do kind of keep to myself. Yeah. Is that intentional or um just because you are out being a creator on your own that you I just think I mean the stuff I do is like I don't need anyone else for it. Yeah. It's just me. Yeah. And do you prefer it that way? Or is I kind of do because I feel more comfortable talking to yeah, yeah. the camera <laughs> and being like myself, which is a bit of a freak, um, yep. without people around. Yeah. Do you, like, maybe that's the thing. Maybe, maybe okay, still filming on your own. Mm. But maybe one of the things, like one of the things I said to Joni is like when she started is having more creatives around you and more people who like can inspire or help spur on ideas or push you or things like that, which is kind of one of the reasons why you'd go to UK and meet these people Mm -hmm. is that um, it helps fuel your fire. Yeah. And even if you're going to film stuff on your own, that's fine. Like how you film shit doesn't matter. Yeah. But having people around you, like the stuff, like Chris will be a testament to this, like watching Joni grow, right? Like over the last sort of whatever long she's been here too long. Um, <laughs> she has grown so much in her creative ability, right? Yeah. Like just, just, um, just being around us, even though none of us can make videos like she can, mm-hmm. like none of us can, we oh, all she's try. So good at it. She's so fucking good at she's it. So she just takes it. a whole bunch of rubbish clips and makes something <laughs> great out of it. I don't know how, but like her, where she really had started to excel was that she started thinking bigger because mm. she was like, oh, shit, like I don't just have to make silly, funny TikToks. I can have them with a purpose. Mm-hmm. I can have them create a storyline that ends up with a goal at the end of it. Like mm-hmm. I can get people, 34,000 people to go click on a website and look at a T-shirt yeah. to buy. And so maybe maybe some, maybe some, you're like your roadblock is just like the five, you, the five people you hang around the most. You know that old saying? Like mm. the five people you hang around the most is you're the average of? Yeah. Like – Find five other creators, like just you know, so I because I live at home, yeah, still, yeah, um, just because I'm, I'm planning on moving overseas, <laughs> why so I'm just not save as much I as wish I, can. I could, um, yeah, <laughs> honestly, um, and uh, shout out to my parents, love them, but it's so like hard mm. with your parents in yeah. the house, you know, and there's not really anywhere to go, and like it's kind of a lonely job, like, yeah, most of my friends all like work, and well, all my friends work in like yeah. normal person jobs, so yeah, <laughs> it's just I feel like maybe my surroundings stop me a little bit. Yeah. Whereabouts do you live? Um, and you're in Auckland, right? <laughs> yeah. No, no, I don't mean exactly <laughs> street. You don't have to put out your address. But are you, you're, you're in Auckland, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there is, why don't you, uh, I mean, you're part of Born Breed. Mm-hmm. Do you do much of the guy, other creators in Born Breed? Mm-mm. Not a lot, eh? I find that actually really funny that you guys don't associate more. Is that a thing? Like, do you guys, is it just Born Breed doesn't help negotiate that? Like, what happens? Why, why don't you guys... Why, I always said that to Joni, like, why the fuck do you guys not hang out more? Like, you guys could all make all your content better. I don't know. Like, yeah. I, f- they, I guess they, they don't really try and push it. Like, they have, like, the odd yeah. one to two year event. <laughs> yeah. But it's not, like, a thing, yeah. It's like... And, like, so so we did the same thing. So we met with YouTube Australasia mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And we said to them, like, why don't you do creator events? Like, why don't we do put stuff on and bring Who, people in? What was in? the person you met with? Ruben. So he's head of YouTube okay, for yeah. Australasia. And he's a friend of Nate's, one of mm-hmm. our ECD. Um, and he's like, Stan, there's no money to do it in New Zealand. Like, there is no money. Yeah. Like, if we could put money in here, we'd just take it to Indonesia and make way more money because there's way more Great. people and there's way more stuff, right? Cool. Um, so we said to him, fuck, well, what if we ran it? Mm. Would you bring all the people? And he's like, Stan, like, 100%, but no one does this. Like, it's just not a thing that's done in New Zealand. Mm. So anyway, uh, it's on our rocks for this quarter. Yeah, so to, to run creator events, both YouTube and TikTok. Um, but our thing is, like, why aren't people hanging out more? Like... 
Maybe I feel like not many people in New Zealand are doing it full time. Yeah. Like it's that group becomes really small if you're talking full time. And then you could be looking at like everyone's content's completely different. Like how do these people work together? Yeah. But you don't necessarily need like this is this is actually this is the crux of it. Two creators making different content don't need to make content for each other. Mm. But they can still help educate, influence, create with each other on mm-hmm. their own channels. As yeah. in you let's say you and Joni, I mean fuck you guys is uh, your content could probably collaborate. But let's yeah. say you were completely different. Um, just being in a room together and sp- sparking ideas together and things like that would still generate a hundred percent, right? Yeah, and we find that all the time. Like Joni, oh well, all the guys are here. Like Connor, who's starting to really pick up on his own TikTok now. Mm-hmm. He's by being in a room with Joni and with me and with other people. He's just learned so much for his own style, and his yeah. style is completely different. Like not you know, one of what them. What kind of stuff does he make? So on his main channel, he does. He's, he's a scooter rider. Like he's mm-hmm. one of New Zealand's top scooters. Okay. So he does a lot of that sort of skate park shit. Yeah. And then on his new De Plaza, which is his t-shirt brand, he's he's done. He's doing um, day one of building his t-shirt brand, day two of building his t-shirt brand. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's like a, he's showing the journey of him yeah. building his brand. <coughs> And both of them, like his his main channel is like thirty six thousand something now. I think he started in January. Chris, is that January? Yeah, something like that. Pretty much when we came back. Yeah, when we came back, um, right? So like he, he was able to grow quite quickly with that. He had a couple of viral videos that took off as it, as it happens. And then his t shirt one, he started last week, and he's at like two thousand or something oh, yeah. already. So he's, he's he knows what he's doing. Yeah. But before that, he had no idea, mm. you know. But that was just by being in an environment where, like, he's seen stuff happen, he's seen different things. Joni does not make content like no. Connor does, and I don't make content like Connor does. But he's been able to figure it out because just by just being, being around being it. around those people, yeah. So maybe that's your first trick. You say you're leaving, leaving in July? Yeah. How do you, like, how does it make you feel thinking, oh, shit, I have to go hang out with other creators and try do this thing? Does that, like, make you nervous? Now it does. <laughs> yeah. Or, or do you just think it's exciting? I think it's exciting. I'm yeah. fucking petrified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, I'm such a homebody as well. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. love my parents. So yeah. I'm just like, what am I doing? Um, but I think it's going to be better for me yeah. in terms of like making content 100%. Yeah. Um, and like the sort of couple friends that um, I have over there who yeah. do TikTok are people who I've hung out with who have come cool. over here. Yeah. Um, get on very well with. Yeah. Will be fun to have people like that. Yeah. Who are doing it more than here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's just uh, like it's kind of one of those things. Like, so in in business, mm-hmm. in business world, networking is the like fastest way to grow your business. Yeah. In, in, in all in all businesses, the more you network, the faster you grow. And in creator world, it would be one hundred percent the same. Except um, you wouldn't call it networking because then no creators would fucking do it. Mm. But like just being around other people, it, like just makes you better. Yeah, just hundred percent. So I feel like Chris. That, that quarterly goal we have has to turn up the dial and we have to have it happen faster and just force Daniel into a creator to hang out with other creators. Because <laughs> I think Joni needs it too. Well, I need Joni to do it so she makes better just content. Just turn into like, find party, Daniel party some friends. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we need to go, anyone out there who wants a friend called Daniel, <laughs> he's looking for some creators God, to hang out sad. with. <laughs> nah, I think it's cool. I think, I think like, right, you know, jokes aside, we're, we're obviously being a bit yeah, of a dick. But, um, but actually, I think it's quite... An interesting case because you're not the only one. You're definitely not the only creator who feels this way. Mm. Like hundred percent. Like we've met a few of them now. They all feel the same way. Yep. They all don't have um, a network of other creators they can tap into at any yeah. time. It's just not a thing. No. We don't have like in the states and the UK where there's like um, large communities of yeah. creators that you can all get together. Such you'll a do shit. Pool of people. Yeah. Yeah. It's why those creator houses, as bad as they got a bad rep, <laughs> they worked so well. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, like that was like good old like hype house days and stuff. Like awful, but but worked. It worked. Yeah, which is annoying. Yeah, <laughs> and they were they were terrible for house. the people. No one will come. <laughs> <laughs> no one will come. Johnny, <laughs> yeah, Johnny, move in with me. Fuck Johnny, move in. Um, but it's true. Like I just I think and I think why this conversation's I you, you obviously feel you're not like I know we're sort of playing around and joking, but that sort of um, putting you on the spot there. What's really cool about that actually is that most creators are like that. Mm. And I think it's quite interesting for people to hear, especially people who are coming up who don't have the following like you do, mm. thinking, shit, look at that guy, he's doing so good, all this sort of stuff. But actually, um, there are like some real struggles even with people who are successful doing it. Like 
not knowing how to get my YouTube started because you haven't got the creative people around you. Yeah. And I think that's more important than going, oh, let's find some ways to monetize your fucking business. Because mm. if you're not enjoying the content you're creating or you're not um, finding new ways to be creative or, you know, developing your creative skills, mm -hmm. then you're going to fade out, right? Yeah. Like that will happen. You won't because okay. you're going to UK. No, but you're going to UK, so you've already made the decision. Yeah, I think go. that's going to be good. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think also, I'm going to be traveling awesome. for like four or five weeks before I get there. So, yeah. content. Yeah. 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 Where are you going traveling? Oh, God. All over Barcelona, oh, Mallorca, nice. Greece, Croatia. Yeah. And then going to a week long festival in Budapest. Oh, awesome. I'm going to pass <laughs> away, honestly, by the end of it. I'll be a shell of myself. <laughs> I love it. I, um, I'm jealous of today's generation who can go traveling with social media because, yeah. I mean, I'm not that much older. Shut up, Ashley. <laughs> um, but when I went traveling, when I was 23 or something, we didn't have – the iPhone had just been invented. Mm. Like, literally just been invented. God, like, you are old. No, yeah, <laughs> no, I am. Like, it was a thing. Like, it was like you didn't – like, you had Nokias still. Yeah. You don't even know. You haven't even used a Nokia. We had I Nokias. I've used a Nokia. <laughs> I actually have. Okay. There you go. I've got a slide up phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want that slid. The See, I'm in with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a funny thing. Like, you just didn't have it. I used to remember when you went traveling, you had to go to an internet cafe to post some photos oh on Facebook. God. <laughs> internet cafes, those are a thing. That's how you so used to do stuff. that wasn't me. I know. And so we, we're like, nowadays, it's like, fuck, you've got like this. Where, where would you post them to? The videos, yeah, just on Facebook, like yeah. just to your page, just so your family could see what you're doing. Your status updates on your yeah. travels, yeah, yeah, that's what you used to do. It was so to, to Bebo, hey? Bebo. to Bebo. Oh yeah, a little bit on Bebo. Bebo, when I was in Australia, when I first moved there, but in Instagram when it first started, like I went real hard on Instagram when it first started. Did you? Yeah, and I was living in London, mm. and I. Uh, so I was at like 36,000 followers or something in 2012 mm. on wow. Instagram. That's pretty good. Yeah, it was fucking awesome because <laughs> I was like first in, right? Yeah. I was just like, I'm going hard. And what's and I was selling t-shirts. We yeah. made a t-shirt brand while we we're in London and we we're selling them. And it worked really well. Sold a whole bunch through it. But then I moved back to Australia for some reasons and then um, just put the business on mm. hold. But what's real annoying is that like at that same time, Ben Francis started Gymshark mm. and he did the same approach I took, which was like just hustle and grind and use social media. Mm. And now he's worth billions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm sucking you said it all. I was like, fuck. Now, now you're paying your staff more than you pay yourself. Yeah, well, fuck, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. So now I'm just like, no, I don't know. I think I fucked that up. <sighs> fuck. So he's, when, you're not the only one who's feeling shit in this interview. We're both in the same boat, bro. <laughs> um, all right. So. We're going to start a creator event. We're going to get Daniel down. That's already done. We're throwing him under the bus um, to do that. Great. Um, what do you think about London? Like, what's the plan? What do you what, what do you hope to get out of that? Um, I mean, I have I like stayed in Auckland for uni. Yeah. Kind of like I've only lived here. I'm just ready for a big change. Cool. I have a lot of friends who are going over. That's like the main drive. Okay. And then on top of that, I think it will be better for like my work. Yeah. And do you see it as like long term stay in London, or are you just not sure yet? Not just sure yet. Depends how I like flow. it. Yeah. I think uh, maybe like three, four years yeah. at the most. I see myself living here though in the future. I just need yeah. a break. Yeah, I feel like lockdown made me hate where I live. Like I'm just so over it. Like yeah. I want to get the hell out. Yeah, it was a weird thing for your generation to grow up in lockdown. Yeah, like I see like with Joni, it always cracks me up because you know she's only twenty two. And so her whole adult life was being COVID. That's so sad. <laughs> that's fucked, so eh? Although I'm kind of grateful for it in a way because it made me do this more. Yeah, well, that's true. That's I don't true. know if I would have done it yeah. if it weren't for like being locked away, unemployed. Yeah. The lockdown creators, eh? Yeah. There's heaps of you. Yeah. Yeah. It has been a funny thing, like, um, to watch it. Like, I'm just locked in. I'm going to do this shit. And then, oh, fuck, I've got a whole new career. Pretty much. Isn't that fucking wild? Um, okay. So... I feel like where we're at with this conversation mm -hmm. is that you're going to start doing more on YouTube. Okay. I'm just going to force him to do that. He's just committed to it, guys. He's going to put his new I video out. I kind of need someone to tell me. Yeah. No one else is going to tell me. <laughs> okay. But. Yeah. Well, you'll get used to it. Yeah. Chris will tell you. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Yeah, okay. I feel like it too. I feel like just, just, just do it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like there's no other question about it. Just, I know. You just got to do it. I know. So what, when, so for the audience out there, when can they expect to see this next video? <laughs> next week. 
I love that. Yeah, let's clap for that. That's great. And, 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 well, is that next week when we up after we upload this video, or next week from when we're filming the video? It could be either. <laughs> it could be either. That's for you to find out and keep an eye out. I love it. I love it. Um, and then I guess the on top of that is that like. Um, one of the reasons why, when you walked in here, the front area, that that whole lounge bit mm -hmm. and stuff, we built that specifically for community. Like yep. that was it. Like that's a third of our office, like a third <laughs> of the space dedicated to non-productive places. Mm -hmm. Like it's just for things. And so we say to people all the time, like if you just need some inspo, or you need some people around you, or you need some places to do shit, or you want to bring a laptop and just get some people to around you to help, mm -hmm. like come on in and do it. Yeah, like we say it all the time. Like we had. Like Lisa's been at Lisa Perez has been yeah. in a whole bunch of times. Like Lewis Davies has been in there. Um, we we tell all the guys just come in and use it. Like mm -hmm. especially creators, like it, there's a benefit for us, right? Of course, there's two benefits for us. One, having more creators in the space gives us all inspiration. Mm -hmm. Like because we all see their shit, they talk, we see what they're doing, they influence our ideas. Mm -hmm. But then also, of course, if they're doing stuff in here, um, those guys like. But Lisa and Lewis like posted videos about being in here, which mm -hmm. then um, we call it like spreading the MCU. Mm -hmm. Like more and more people, we're like more, we're in more places as well, obviously, yep. which is great. But also like we got like Chris, who's like a weapon when it comes to Adobe Premiere, mm -hmm. editing, all that sort of stuff. Um, we got people who can, um, you know, with cameras and things like that. We've got a whole bunch of cameras. So we say to people, like, if you need inspo, you need people to, you need an environment where you can do shit, which mm -hmm. is not just at mum and dad's. Yeah. Like, come on down. Yeah. I like, just walk in here and be like, hey, guys, can I come and hang out for a day? You're going to regret that. No, no, no. No, we won't. have me yelling at my phone camera in here while you guys are trying to work. Bro, Chris, you tell him. Well, I don't know. Last time you said that to someone, they we couldn't get rid of them. Well, yeah, we had to give <laughs> her a job. <laughs> <laughs> we had to employ her. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't until she started working she realized, oh, this sucks. Now, yeah. I, now that I'm getting paid to work here, I don't want to be here. And that was Cass. Oh, Cass, yeah. Cass, Cassidy Skelson. Um, she did the same thing. I just said to her, come on in. So she did. She loved it. She was making more content and stuff. Mm. And then she's like, I want a job. I was like, all right, you got a job. And then she's like, oh, I don't want to work full time. I just want to be a credit <laughs> full time. And I was like, yeah, fair enough. Like, you're not a workhorse. And that's great. Like, there's no hard feelings against yeah. it. She had to go off and do her own thing. But, yeah. but seriously, like, Okay. If if you want somewhere, because you got four months till you go, three in a bit. Yeah. That's a lot of content. That's a lot of YouTube clips because you're putting out one a week, right? He also said he what? likes editing. <laughs> he also said he likes editing video too. And we 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 did some. <laughs> I don't think I can afford like him on this brand deal, right? <laughs> I use iMovie. <laughs> oh, okay, nah. nah. <laughs> for, for my one video I made. <laughs> Maybe we need to just teach him Premiere. Maybe that's what we can teach you. Yeah, maybe. Teach you Premiere. Yeah. Oh, well, it'll probably speed up some workflow and make things easier. Yeah. There's a lot of good stuff with Premiere. The AI stuff that they're bringing out, clean up oh. your voices. You are right, though. I do need to do one a week. Yeah. But I, I'm not ready to just say I am doing one a week. <laughs> so that's like 12 before you leave. <laughs> He's like, fuck, why did also I come like, on this If thing? I make vlogs or something when I'm traveling, when the hell am I going to edit them? Yeah. Saying in hostels as well. Doubt the random man sleeping next to me is going to want to see my yeah. face blown up on a screen. Like, yeah. <laughs> pay some guy seven bucks an hour to edit them for you. Yeah, that's what I was about to say too. What about outsourcing? Hmm? What about getting some guy in Philippines who can rough cut stuff for you? What if I like... What if there's something that does not need to be seen on that <laughs> chip? That what well, there's a little slip of something like and random man in the Philippines when paying seven dollars an hour is gonna be like, what the fuck? Wow. And I then mean, he could sell the photo. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I mean, you only send him stuff you have approved, <laughs> like you don't just have him free access to your iCloud. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't say anyway. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Like, okay, I the reason I say that is yeah. because I filmed a YouTube video last week, week before. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I didn't know it was filming and I went to have a shower and I looked and I saw the little rat was aiming at me. So there's a whole uh, new shower clip on my microchip. I love that. I d no. That is too good. Send that off to Josh over in the Philippines. <laughs> Gave um, me a fright. I was like, shit, is that what I look like? <laughs> so I feel like that's a real easy hurdle to solve, which is just <laughs> check your footage. Naked. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But... But also, have you ever thought about that, like getting support, like a support? I thought you were going to say, ever thought about filming yourself naked? Well, yeah, I mean, you could start um, OnlyFans, but... Uh, 
my friends keep telling me to start only fans. Yeah. They're like, Daniel, if only like this small amount of people subscribed, you'd make this much. I'm like, I'm not fucking doing it. The no biggest, one needs to see that. Some uh, of the biggest inf- only fans in New Zealand are men. Are they? Yeah. Two or three of the top 10 are men. Okay. Mm. No one need, wants to see this. Um, yeah, yeah. What, was the, what was the question? <laughs> have you thought about getting support crew? Like have, building no, a team around No, I feel you? like I don't. I can't justify it with my yep. following. Why not? TikTok, I don't need help. YouTube, I can do it. Like, I just yeah, am yeah. lazy. <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, like, so I don't know if you got introduced to him, Drew out the front there. Mm-hmm. He, he's one of our clients. He talks a lot about environment. Like, his, his, his business is all about... Um, human performance and stuff like that. And one of the things he talks about the most is that you can't fight your environment. You are part of the environment and you your environment does influence you more than you can ever think. This is why I say to you, like, maybe you need to find other creators to hang mm-hmm. out with, maybe come in here or whatever. But the same thing with, like, um, if when you go to edit, there is a barrier for you just not doing it for some reason, mm. that's an environmental pressure on you that your, your body and mind just doesn't want to overcome. Mm. It could... If you just were like fucking harden up and just get it done, like you could, but that's not sustainable, right? You know that that's yeah. not sustainable because otherwise you would have done it already. Yeah. For the last year, you would have done 50 vlogs and you would have been yep. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> Don't put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's okay. And so like what we tend to say is like, well, then get the help you need to get to where you want to be. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with getting help. And a lot of people like don't look at it the right way they go oh that's an expense i don't want to carry or Mm -hmm. i don't really need to i should be able to do it myself it's like you can't do it yourself you've already proven that you can't do it yourself over the last year and Mm. this doesn't mean that's not a weakness Mm. that's actually a strength in identifying okay that's the thing that if i got help there that got me sped up or maybe the help is you need accountability Mm. you need someone yelling down your throat i think accountability yeah but then i get accountability and i'm like fuck off yeah well that's it (laughs) Yeah, so it's, I just can't win. <laughs> Classic Gen Z, say, fuck <laughs> it. I need oh, someone please. to tell me what to do, but as soon as they tell me what to do, sh- go away! Yeah, yeah fuck off. off. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never be happy. <laughs> but like, like you know, like let's say YouTube as an example. We're mm. going to break this down. We've got like five minutes or something left. Um, if you filmed a whole bunch of shit mm. and you had a Dropbox or whatever and then you sent it to some dude in the Philippines who you're paying like seven dollars an hour to how do i find this man in the oh we'll, we'll show you we can show you <laughs> off camera that's up work easy um we we've used them plenty for like rough cutting stuff mm-hmm. like some of them can do final product or final version of things but like that's you probably pay more than seven dollars an hour for someone who can mm-hmm. give you the final edit but because you're literally going to be spending the money that you earn to pay these people mm-hmm. right because you haven't yet built the youtube channel you want to get the cheapest guy possible to start with mm. and build up to someone better. And in fact, you might train that guy to be better because mm. they're very good at learning what they need. But if you just send them all your shit and said, hey, rough cut this, this is the story, mm. they will put it into a timeline for you, mostly done. And then you come in with what you know and then it takes you an hour as mm. opposed to 10. So they do the, the hard work and then yeah. you just cut it down. And then more. Yeah, exactly. You yeah, just make yeah. it good. They yeah, put okay. it into chronological order yeah. and cut it in and then you make it good. You put the finesse in. Um, that might cost you like 70 bucks a video, mm. which isn't much really. That's not much, but then it makes me think like I can just do it myself. But if it took you 10 hours to do that, the same mm. as them, what could you do with that 10 hours? How much more money could you go make somewhere else than 70 bucks? I mean, you could fucking pack shelves at Countdown and make more. Yeah, but I'm not going to do No, that. I know, I know. <laughs> but you know what I'm trying to say? Like, you can. like. Okay. Yeah, but then also I'm like, well, I have the time to do it. And realistically, what am I going to do while Man Make in Philippines film, is doing that? Film more vlogs. Let's be honest. I'm not going to. I'm going to be waiting for the video. Like, I just <laughs> eating bread. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. No, you don't have to give answers. I see what you're yeah, saying, you don't though. have to give answers. I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. a good way to sort of get it up and running. Yeah. I'll tell you. If you really want to make YouTube and all this like a real long-term, like sustainable business, you have to get help. Like you, you just can't do it otherwise. All the biggest YouTubers have help. Yeah. All the biggest creators have help. It's just what they do. Yeah. They have to. It's the only way they can scale. You don't have to get to like Logan Paul levels and have fifty million dollar <laughs> businesses and shit. Like that's fine. But um, you know, even if you think of like. Uh, I, I watch some small creators who might have half a million u- subscribers on mm. YouTube, which, I mean, it's still big, but mm. it's not big compared to others. And they'll have two or three people in their team. Yeah. Like, every time. Yeah. And they don't, just don't pay them full time. They're all contractors, right? Mm. They have a thumbnail artist who does all the thumbnails. That costs them about a hundred bucks a thumbnail. 
Um, and that person does the headline as well. Maybe $200, depending on the level. They'll have an editor to do all the edit, mm. the whole thing. Um, and they'll have someone who manages the social media. Yeah. It like, just does all that. Um, and those guys, like, they, once as soon as they employ that and you watch them, they employ that team around them, they're, they're, their followers go through the roof mm. because they're producing more, they're doing things yeah. better. They're, they're, they're able to spend more time with the community, yeah. engaging with them and doing all that shit, which you know, like, even with TikTok, like, the more you give the community, the more you grow, the more follow, the mm-hmm. more they come back, the more you can like pitch brands. Like, yeah. you know, you know, you do a brand deal, you're more likely to get people to convert on that brand deal, which means brands want to come back, mm-hmm. things like that. So I think like if you, I think you should seriously think about that mindset of like, yeah, but I could just do it myself. Like mm-hmm. that's the dumbest mindset okay. to grow. Honestly, like without trying to be a dick. No, like, say it. Say it's it. fucking the dumbest thing you can do. Cool. Especially if you want to be a big creator long term and, and make, and like not have another business model. Mm-hmm. Like if you want to get paid to be a creator, which is a c- cool business model. And I, and I, and I'm not opposed to people going all in on that mode. Mm-hmm. Um, especially cause you've proven you can do it already. Mm-hmm. Is that, you can't scale that long term yeah. to the point where you're actually making like significant money that if one channel goes away, it's okay. I've got enough money coming in that I can reinvest into another channel. Mm-hmm. But you can't do that on your own. No. Very few people have done it on their yeah. own. Like I'm trying to think like even anyone, any of the bigger YouTubers that I know, like I don't think any of I them. I feel have like they start it. out on they're just doing it by themselves, though, no? Yeah, but you did. Yeah, okay, true. And you, you, you pay for yourself full time now. Yeah. So you've already done that. Okay, you make a point. Yeah. So you just did it through TikTok. They did it through YouTube. Yeah. But it took them four years. It took you what? Like two. Yeah. So because, and that's the beauty of TikTok is that, and that's why we love TikTok is that it's ability to scale fast. It's so yeah. much faster than yeah. YouTube. That will die off eventually, right? Yeah. As more and more creators and if it gets deleted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. But I think that if, I think with them, they they always start off their own, of course. Like, no one's getting paid when mm-hmm. they start YouTube on their own. But the moment you see those guys, the guys who have been successful long term, the moment you see com- them starting to make money, they hire people mm. straight away. All the good ones, anyway. Yeah. The guys who are still, like, doing everything on their own, their channels grow much slower. Yeah. Just much slower. And, it, and even if you watch them, like, Nathaniel Drew, like, I remember watching him talk about, I don't know if you've ever watched his stuff, Nathaniel Drew. He's, um... He's this like American guy who lives in France. He bought this house in Paris. It's fucking, he's obviously doing very well mm-hmm. on YouTube, but he's only got maybe a million YouTube subscribers. Yep. But he talked about it as well. Like he was doing it all on his own, did a lot of travel stuff. Like he did a lot, he did a lot of collabs with like Yes Theory and things like that, some of the bigger YouTube guys. But he said it wasn't until he got a team around him, like mm-hmm. he's a social media manager, editor. He actually has a guy who films him now. So he doesn't even right. do his own filming anymore. He's like, just, it took off. Like yeah. it just skyrocketed okay. because he's like, I can create more. I've got more creative people around me that give me ideas. Um, I'm not alone on things. Mm-hmm. Like, so he wants to do more because there's other people around him. Yeah. And actually then there's a layer of accountability there because you've now got people who rely on your income to pay yeah. their salaries. And that drives me a lot in this yeah. team. Like massive. Like knowing that, oh, fuck, I got payroll coming up in a week. <laughs> like I think there's a fucking sales <laughs> done. Drives you to be better, yeah. Because and, and and look, it's not for everyone. Like, not everyone wants to manage and lead people, and that's quite hard mm-hmm. actually. But that's why you outsource it to like remote yeah. staff. Yeah, you don't need to lead them. They're self leaders. That's mm-hmm. why they're freelancers. You just be like, bro, this is what I need you to deliver. Can I have it on Monday? Yeah, yeah. All right. So okay, I'm with you. Yeah. Daniel's going to get an offshore <laughs> Filipino dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is the result of this conversation. You're going to get Joni's brother helping you. Um, now nah, we'll find some people. Okay. Okay. Cool. I love it. So, before we go, is there anything else we need to add? Did I miss anything? Did I rip into your soul enough? No, we're good. I just <laughs> didn't know that I was going to, after this hour, end up with a Filipino <laughs> the editor. editor for $7 <laughs> an hour. And yeah, it's not what I was expecting, uh, but that's cool. Yeah, not to call out all the Filipino editors, because actually, fuck, without you, our business wouldn't exist. But truly, it is a real, like, it's a real tool. Yeah, it's okay. a real I didn't even tool. know this yeah. existed. So yeah, it's a real tool. We can show you after. We'll show okay. you. We'll get. We'll Looking get you set you up an Upwork account. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Thank you so much for coming. Thank in. you very Appreciate much for having you me. Thank you. Letting me rip you apart. Yeah, no. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>